This episode of FTD Facts is brought to you by Buzzbreak. Buzzbreak is a news app that allows you to earn cash easily and quickly by doing what you're doing online anyways, like reading the latest news articles and watching YouTube videos. It's literally that simple. Simply open up the app, choose a category, and earn points instantly for watching the videos and reading the posts. And then you can redeem those points for cash. Open up the wallet tab, select cash out, and choose PayPal or another available payment method. The link is below in the video description section where you can download Buzzbreak, and if you use my referral code, you'll get a bonus 4,000 1500 points. Download Buzzbreak today. Again, the link is down below where you can start earning cash for doing exactly what you're doing right now, watching your favorite videos and more. The Netherlands is a country that we love to talk about here on FTD Facts. And in this episode, we've decided to add the military of the Netherlands as part of our 10 facts series. Hey guys, welcome back to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton, and now let's take a look and see what the Dutch are actually packing in their military. But before we get started, don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe if this is your first time here, as well as ring that bell, that way you'll be notified of our future episodes. All right, so for the first thing I wanna share about the Netherlands military is that they are officially known as the Armed Forces of the Netherlands, and the service branches of the Netherlands Armed Forces are the Royal Netherlands Army, the Royal Netherlands Navy, and Marine Corps and the Royal Netherlands Air Force, as well as the Royal Military Constabulary. Now, the Netherlands isn't really a country that comes to mind when you think of a powerful military country like some of the other countries near it, but it doesn't change the fact that the soldiers from the Netherlands are some of the best in the world. They're well-trained and they train with other top countries as well. And of course, that makes them a force to be reckoned with. We protect our country with force if we have to. And when we need to make a difference, we are there. So what are the actual numbers when it comes to the size of their military? Well, their military personnel now sit at a total of 40,500, and their active personnel are a little bit under that at 35,500. And the Netherlands has 5,000 men in reserve. Now, one thing I wanna mention when it comes to the military of the Netherlands is that if we look at their army division, known as the Royal Netherlands Army, although they trace back to 1572, yeah, they go way back, they were officially raised on January 9th of 1814. This is all because of the old age of the army, you know, so in the 1800s, it was just time to modify things. But either way, before that, it was one of the oldest standing armies in the world, even taking part in the 80 years war. But moving on now, in today's world, as of May 1st, 1997, the Netherlands ended its compulsory attendance. But that doesn't necessarily mean that conscription has ended for the Netherlands. Pretty much how it works in the Netherlands is that every single male citizen, they get a letter in the mail when they hit 17 years old saying that they have to be registered for the military. And now this applies to girls as well because girls also are now eligible for compulsory military service. And this was after the Senate passed a change in the law recently. However, they don't have to really be put in for service. But one thing to note though is that Karakau, which is a country that is part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, does follow the constitution and has what is called active social conscription. And pretty much that basically is for underprivileged males to get military training. Now I wanna talk a little bit about the Royal Netherlands Air Force. Now this is their modern air force. They're very high tech and they contribute to the peace and security, not just in Netherlands, but also in different parts of the world. For this purpose, it has highly qualified personnel, as well as aircraft, helicopters, and other sorts of weapon systems to be used at their disposal. When it comes to the specifics though, of the kind of equipment that they have, their aircraft strength sits at 168. They have 61 fighter aircraft. They have one attack aircraft and their transport aircraft sit at a total of four. Their helicopter strength is 75 and their total attack helicopters sit at 28.
the Royal Netherlands Army. So of course, this is the land operations and they contribute to the freedom, the security, as well as the prosperity in the Netherlands and other parts of the world as well. And the army performs its tasks with well-trained military personnel. Like these guys are intense. Leos, ze zitten links, nog steeds. Ik weet alleen niet waar. Pak ze thuis. Hoi! They conduct combat operations under the most extreme circumstances and they like really go all out. They also provide humanitarian aid and support during times of natural disasters and crises. The total tanks in their army is 18, but they have 1,546 armored fighting vehicles. Their self-propelled artillery sit at 57 and their total artillery count is 160. All right guys, so let's move on over into the Navy for the Netherlands military. So the Navy personnel and Marines of the Royal Netherlands Navy are deployed worldwide. And this is all in interest of ensuring the security at sea and from the sea. Again, they're deployed both at home in the Netherlands as well as in different parts of the world. And the Royal Netherlands Amy takes part in crisis management and they provide humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. Now the Royal Netherlands Navy is the oldest of the four services of the Netherlands Armed Forces. Their total naval assets sit at 63. They have six frigates in their possession as well as four submarines. And their mine warfare vessels sit a total of six. Now, as I mentioned, the Netherlands isn't really on top of anyone's list when we think about countries that are known for their military power and dominance. But either way, they contribute in a massive way. So check this. Although the Netherlands does not have any weapons of mass destruction that they make domestically, the Netherlands participates in the NATO nuclear weapons sharing agreements and trains for delivering the United States nuclear weapons. And several Dutch countries provided the United States, Israel, and Pakistan with components for their own nuclear weapons. So they're not building them for themselves, but they are helping to build them for different countries. For fact number two, I want to introduce the Netherlands Marachuse. They're a force that safeguards the security of the state, both in the Netherlands as well as abroad. And they're deployed globally at locations of strategic importance, from royal places to external borders of Europe and from airports in the Netherlands to theaters to war zones, crisis areas all over the globe. And the Royal Netherlands Marachuse is deployable for security in any situation at home and abroad. They're like military and police all combined into one. We are military and police in one. Part of the armed forces. We guard the constitutional state and protect society for your safety. And the final thing I wanna talk about when it comes to the Netherlands military is their money. So their defense budget sits at 12 billion, 419 million. And it said that nearly half, about 49%, of the total defense expenditure went to defense personnel as wages. Now, based on the latest numbers, the Netherlands has outlined a defense budget of about 10.9 billion euros for 2020. And yeah, that's about $12 billion US. Now this marked a 4% nominal rise over the prior year, which maintains defense spending at 1.35% of its total GDP. All right guys, so that's all I have for you in this episode about the military of Netherlands. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining me here on FTD Facts. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments about anything that I mentioned down below. Or if you wanna add any other interesting facts and information down there, I love learning from you guys as well. Now before you guys head out, I just gotta let you know that there's gonna be a related video that's coming up at the end of this episode that you can click on. I don't want you to miss it. If you enjoyed this one, definitely check that one out. And that's it for me guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys in the next one.